Um, hey guys, I uh, hope you're well. So today I'm going to do um, a, a comparison. A comparison in linear algebra using uh, SymPy and NumPy. Cool. So yeah, um, just on a quick side note, uh, I'd really appreciate it if you guys do subscribe to my channel. So if you like what you see, please do subscribe. Uh, share the videos with your friends and a lot. Okay, cool. So let's get started. So um, import uh, SymPy as S, then import uh, NumPy. Sorry, NumPy as N. Okay, right. So I'm going to create an array. So A equals to um, N dot array. Right. Uh, so two, one, three, and then um, so minus one, zero, and five, and then uh, four minus six, and then eight. Cool. So that's my first array, and then for SymPy, um, it will just be the same. So S the matrix. matrix and then what I'll do is I'll just copy this lot come on copy and then paste that right cool so what I need to do now is uh, find the determinant okay so find the determinant okay so um, so then n dot linalg dot dot and my matrix A, and then for SymPy, uh, so that'll be uh, S dot dot, then B, they're the same matrices, it's one or six, or you could do it this way, uh, B dot dot, okay, that's uh, the SymPy way, okay, cool, then um, I need to find uh, the inverse, so um, find the inverse, Of the matrix, right? So um, getting started with uh, NumPy. So that'll be n dot lin alg dot inv a. So this is a NumPy method. To get the inverse, right? There we are. And then um, with um, SymPy, so that'll be b dot inv. So there we are. So obviously one is in decimals and one is in um, uh, which call it fractions. So for the first entry, the first entry there, let me just uh, uh, simplify fifteen over fifty three. So there we are. So it's just uh, shortened, you know, rounded off to the nearest. Uh, figure. Um, okay, cool. So yeah, then um, I need to find uh, the characteristic polynomial. So in NumPy, so find the characteristic polynomial. Characteristic polynomial. So uh, so in NumPy, there will be, uh, so n, sorry, n dot poly a. There we are. And then uh, for SymPy, that'll be b dot carpoly. Right. So there we are. So yeah, so it's just using lambda as a variable. Um, and then, but it's just the same. The coefficients are the same. You know, so that's 1. Minus 10, 35, and 35 there, minus 106, and minus 106. Okay, so that's the characteristic polynomial. Then I need to find the um, find the eigenvalues. Okay, so with NumPy, so n dot lin alg, lin alg uh, lin linear algebra, that's how it says, uh, dot eigenvalues. Matrix A. 
and there we are and then for my matrix for my uh, simpy way so that'll be b dot eig eigen vowels there we are so obviously this is um um they've got complex uh, complex numbers you know so it's just the same here because you're using the i yeah they use j but it's essentially the same simplified in uh, numpy okay cool and then um what i need to do now is um find the eigenvectors so finding find the eigenvectors okay cool so um what i'm going to do is um type in uh, vowels and vect and this is equal to n dot lin auge dot eig a okay so then vowels the eigenvalues it's just the same yeah then uh, vectors just put me one sec Um, eigenvectors, so vect. There we are. Okay, cool. And then um, for um, num uh, simpy, so that'll be b dot uh, eigen eigenvect. So it's going to be more yeah long winded, you know. So numpy um, obviously uh, simplifies things further, whereas simpy this gives you the whole lot. Okay, cool. So yeah, it was just um, a quick comparison. And um, if you like what you see, please just subscribe. And um, yeah, so have a lovely day. A lovely day. Sorry, lovely day, guys. And thank you. Thank you for watching. Ciao, ciao. Bye.